going on gents it's Rizzo back with the gentleman's corner and I have another review for you today and if you saw the title you already know it's over Lacoste Pour Homme there's the bottle that's what it looks like really hard glass I do not have the top this bottle has been with me for years I've had it for almost probably four years now but yeah as you can tell it's almost gone and this type of fragrance, well, this fragrance basically is a fruity, sweet, vanilla type of fragrance. So for my guys that are looking for the uh, really masculine fragrance, such as the Green Irish Tweed or the um, He Wood, Rocky Mountain Wood, like the really, really just rough and rugged type smell, like, you know, like I said, or the uh, Tuscan Leather by Tom Ford, this isn't one of those fragrances. This is a very soft a very um, uh, airy kind of a fragrance, very, very sweet, um, almost like a perfume, a, or a perfume, a woman's perfume kind of a fragrance. So, I'm um, jump straight into the notes. The notes are grapefruit, plum, apple, bergamot, cinnamon, pink pepper, juniper, uh, cardamom, laminum, sandalwood, musk, vanilla, rum, and cedar. I know that sounds like a lot of notes, which it is, but throughout the fragrance, you really don't get all those notes, or at least to my nose, I didn't. Like the main notes that I got that I was smelling throughout the whole fragrance was uh, the rum and the plum, um, the vanilla, apple, cinnamon, grapefruit, bergamot, musk, and the juniper. All right, so projection. How does this thing project? The projection is good, and it's like a, it's like borderline good, excellent for about an hour then after that it becomes average so I gave the mark of a C plus because it's not just boom a projection monster but it's not uh, it doesn't immediately become close to the skin it's just average you know after about that one hour mark but for the first for the first hour it's, it's really good alright the longevity the longevity is 14 plus hours and that's on the skin if you place this thing, if you put this thing on, um, like your clothes, your shirt, or your jacket, or your jeans, or anything like that, it's going easily 24 hours. That so it's going even longer, and so I gave that one an A plus. Now the sillage or the scent trail is very very heavy, um, so I definitely I have to give that one an A because you'll definitely blaze the trail with this one. I'm saying as soon as you walk by you know in the office or just anywhere it's like whoo, it hits you right in the nose so I have to give that one an A. Um, a few things about this fragrance um, like I told you before about the, the certain notes the rum and the plum they provide a sense of depthness and thickness to the fragrance that's why with this one I would probably go four sprays maybe four sprays maximum if you could pull out five sprays and more power to you but I think five is kind of pushing it. And I'm saying four good sprays, not a half spray. I mean four solid blasts, you know, on your body and on your skin. So four good sprays. And like I say, it's because that the rum and the plum, like the, those notes in there, and you know what I'm talking about once you like spray it on, like for a while or whatever. Um, they pro provide like a sense of thickness. Like a just if you put too much on, it becomes very, very cloying. So that's the thing about those two notes they they mesh really well together and they provide like like i said the substance and that thickness to the fragrance um and i also believe like that's what also makes it last really really long like that's what those two things those two key components is what gives the fragrance its actual longevity um the musk and the vanilla and i have to say this about the vanilla and the fragrance and this some will classify this as a vanilla bomb i'm talking about it has a ton of vanilla in it like the Jean-Paul Gaultier that's almost what it reminds me of the the, the Jean-Paul Gaultier but maybe like the um maybe like the the older brother so to speak and I'm not talking about like 30 year old older brother I'm saying like the two like two years older um brother to Jean-Paul Gaultier and um it has like a lot of vanilla in there in that sense so but the musk and the vanilla is what makes it really soft and really airy like this doesn't with the rum and the plum with it being it providing its substance and its thickness it doesn't make it to where it's just like oh my goodness it's unbearable it, like this like the musk and the vanilla is what kind of adds that balance and that counter it counters the uh, the rum and the plum to make it kind of airy so but um when it dries down 
it drives down to like a very like it's crazy. This is the analogy that I came up with. It drives down to like a very 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 sweet kind of perfumey like fabric softener, you know. And I ain't talking about like you know oh, why would I want anything to smell like fabric softener? That's that's dumb. Like I'm saying like a really good fabric softener, like the um, the the downies or the um, what's that thing called? Um, the game, the joyful expression, like the really good lavish fabric something but it smells like really really sweeter than that so um yeah and from the from the opening what i got from the opening was the i don't really get um i don't really get like a lot of the apple i get the plum and the grapefruit and a hint of the bergamot in the opening um and that that opening stays there for a while it stays there for probably two and a half three hours maybe even longer yeah and after that, it it almost remains kind of linear. This fragrance does. It doesn't really change a hell of a whole lot. It kind of remains the same throughout the whole fragrance. I think maybe. Um, oh, also in the opening too, I get the rum, but it's not the kind of rum that you smell in like, a, um, the uh, Evolution by Rockaway. It's like a an underlying tone rum. It's almost like if you were to have a mixed drink and you put the alcohol in, the alcohol being the rum. Um, you put like maybe this much rum in there, you just like put like the rest of the uh, the drink in there. Kind of like if you asked for a rum and coke, but a rum and coke that wasn't mixed very well, you had like maybe this much rum, and then you had like the rest of it was like all Coca Cola, like all you would taste is the coke, but you know the rum is in there because you actually saw them pour it. That's how the rum is in this in this fragrance. It's kind of like that underlying. I know it's in there, kind of kind of deal, but it's not a very very prominent um, note, so to speak. You don't really smell like oh I I can just tell that that's rum. So, the um, as far as the the mid and the heart, like I said, this remains pretty uh, linear throughout the whole fragrance. Um, the 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 mid, I kind of pick up just hints of uh, cinnamon, and it's not like anything just really dominant. It's just like it comes and it goes, it comes and it goes, it comes and it goes. And I don't really pick up the pink pepper. Um, or the Connor, or the cardamom. I do get the juniper berries just a little bit, just a little bit, and that provides like just a slight turn or whatever. Um, as far as any of the other um, notes, I don't really get them. I might get some hints of sandalwood here and there. I have to like really, really, really sniff out for it. Um, but as far as like the cedar or the uh, labdanum, I don't really get that. But the musk is there, and so is the vanilla. Um, could a woman pull this off? Absolutely. I think, if anything, you know, if a man didn't wear this or he just decided he didn't like this and he gave it to his woman, she could absolutely pull this one off. Now, the age group, the age group, this, this is perfect for high schoolers. I'm talking about um, not the high, not the freshman high school. It's like just getting out of the 8th grade going to the ninth. Uh, I think at least sophomore, 16 to 24 years old. And may that's like an, I just turned 24 so really it's like 23 barely hit 24 kind of thing like i think once you hit 24 or 25 you probably won't even really reach for this anymore probably won't even be on your your richter scale of like i guess fragrances that define you and notice that's why i still have this last little bit and i've had it for four years i probably hadn't reached for it and i don't know how long um the perfect time to actually wear this and it can be worn all year long i mean excuse me all year long However, this fragrance will shine the brightest and like the best in the springtime. I'm talking like in March, April, May, and like early summer. So first part of June. The, the part of the year when you actually wear um, the brighter colors like the, the yellows, like the lemon yellows, the baby blues, the, the purples. Like that is the perfect fragrance for that. Like I'm talking about like I just when I see this this fragrance I picture a nice pair of khaki pants and a soft baby blue shirt or a nice pair of khaki pants and a lemon uh, yellow polo or just, you know, something really, really, really nice and clean cut like that. So that is the perfect time to wear that. You can, like I said, you can wear it at any time, but that, that thing there is perfect. And it's like monstrous during like that spring, early summer when you're getting the nice breezes and you going on a picnic or just cocktails and drinks. So the price range, the price range is, I've seen it uh, as cheap as $37 all the way to $65 for a 3.3 ounce. So I have to give that a B. It's, it's pretty good. You know, for a 3.3 ounce at $37, it's pretty darn good. 
Um, and like I say, I mean, this fragrance, it can be, um, because I, I just remember what I want to touch up on. It can be worn in the uh, in the winter simply because it has the, the rum in it. But like I say, if you wanted to, the best time to wear this would be in the spring. But if you if you bought it, I don't want you to think that you couldn't wear it in, um, in the winter simply because, you know, I, I recommended it to wear it at that time. So I think that's all I really want to cover or to talk about in regards to this fragrance. I think I hit every every mark. So as usual comment let me know what you think um subscribe join the facebook group things to look forward to of course i have more reviews that are already recorded um such as frat pan speak easy um tonka imperial uh also have some stuff on my gentleman's corner side the um smelling the part series is coming up next i have some stuff on my wife and um oh yeah if uh if you paid attention to uh, if you're in any of the the Facebook groups and you keep up with me regularly I've commented that I uh, did bought made a few recent purchases so I plan on probably doing some reviews over those two not really back to black because that's been done a billion times but maybe um Tuscan leather I'm still debating on that one because I think that one's been done quite a bit too but nevertheless without further ado I just want to give a shout out to Phi Beta Sigma Blue Phi Ooh, y'all Navy. Peace. Talk to you later, gents.